Okay, y'all, so I need to find another, it's dark in here. Um, I need to find another project to work on. Let's see if I can zoom out. There we go. And that desk is new, but it was free because it was damaged at the top. So, and I have two of them, a white one and a gray one, but I don't, I don't know if I wanna work on those. Um, I don't know, I have a couple of benches. I have a couple of these antique beds. I have a that antique armoire. Oh, this mid-century modern dresser might be. Well, it's kind of hidden in there. So I may not work on that one. Um, got another bed, a gun cabinet. Don't have any guns. I transform those into other things. A couple of chairs. I don't know. What's it? Oh. Uh, oh yeah let's work on this this is a solid wooden chair that I got about uh, six months ago and it's solid so it's really thick and it was about $42 um, because of the heaviness of it and I think that's a good project to work on next um, I'm thinking about whew, I don't know I'm not gonna say until I decide what I'll do with it, but I'm gonna pull it out so that we can take a look at it. It has these two big cushions and this 1960s, 70s cushion pattern. Um, uh, but as you can see, it's really solid. And I love these scrolled arms. And then of course I'll have to um, do some bundo to repair. I don't know if you could see that, but that corner is a missing this chipped away it needs to be repaired so I'll um, repair that and then this is something that I need in my living room right now it has a bunch of um, gold nightstands on it um, and a chandelier but yeah I think that'll be nice let's take that out and see what we can do with it um, the sides are solid I love that it's covered um, the arms are low and wide so they're good for resting and the back of those arms are flat and then it has like these um, little uh, finials at the back of the chair um, back there that's really cute so yeah let's see what we can do with these um, this will do this will take some upholstery work so you get to see that process and um, its transformation okay so I loaded up the palm sander um, with a hundred no this is actually 80 grit so and then I'll um, slowly ease down to a lighter mode but I'm trying to remove the bondo um, at least shape it up so that it matches the other side over here <laughs> Okay, today is a going to be a busy day for this little buddy, this little chair here. Um, and I just want to show you all that it has this flap here that I'm not going to replace. I think it's unnecessary. And then it also has these worn out um, leather uh, bands. Um, that were used to add stability to the cushion so that when you put it down it's stable. I will remove these um, and do some sort of cross hatch pattern with jute. Um, jute is this upholstery fabric here and essentially you just run it in strips and then you weave it through going the opposite way like you would see on a, I don't know, a pie or something. So that will be done after, well, we'll remove these pieces first and then we'll paint it like a dark gray. Um, and then we will um, put
put the jute on and then the cushion so I finished the top cushion already with the piping and I'll show you all how I um, did this on the bottom cushion so that is our next steps okay so really quickly I took the measurements of the original cushions and transform, uh, transferred them over to this um, fabric here so what I plan to do is um, cut my pieces well I've already cut them but attach my pieces together um, so that they fit the two different size of cushions um, this is the larger cushion um, here and as you can see there are two pieces front uh, top and bottom and then there's a set of trim to go around um, each one um, and then the same for the second piece so there's a second um, set of top and bottom cushion pieces followed by the actual side trim pieces Okay. Okay, so the chair is practically done. Um, it's been painted uh, with the chalk paint and then sealed with two coats of polycrylic. And then I went ahead and did in a cross hatch pattern um, the jute so that now when you um, sit down on it, it's much sturdier. So 